Today's workshop held at DOC, Dr. Bote College Lira, has been a marvelous challenge for us, if I may say so, the, the, the organizers for the Northern Region. Why? Because we have never had this kind of workshop before, and uh, it's actually first of its kind in up country here. Uh, if you see people who have come, people have come from Ube, we also have someone from Ibanda, people have come from Molata, Dokolo Lira, uh, uh, Otuke, Aleptong, and Oyam. So for us, this going forward has given us a good go ahead. Now we are happy, at least we can gather ICT teachers together, and for sure we are going to fight the computer literacy or ICT in Uganda. So I just appreciate all the members who have come. We have had a number of sessions today. The main focus for Northern Region, this workshop we have had, the main theme was on programming and innovations. Indeed, in the morning, we started with a session on programming. The teachers were inspired to start teaching programming. Many teachers, they are then thinking that teaching programming is very difficult. One of the languages is visual basic, which was recommended by the ministry. But very few teachers have been teaching it. So we gave them all the tools, and all teachers went away when they had finished making the session. Uh, Mr. Kapul Bena, Shabon Bodeo from Ivana, to come, is one of the teachers who have been teaching programming. So we identified him and requested him to come and share with other teachers how he's managing to do that. Area. So when I say prompt the user for area, it can be uh, print, enter, area. And then store the area is in good area because I didn't want us to divert from this step here. You see here. I'd heard about VB but I'd never really taught it. And today I the way the instructors and the facilitators handled it just demystified it and uh, I'm not confident to teach my students, maybe. We are so much happy because we've got lots of information about uh, programming. And we've already gained so much and uh, it's really good. We've learned how to design. We've even developed an app. What we didn't know, actually, it is good. We are going to do our last one. Command button. You come here and you draw it as well. And then... Change the command for to a divide symbol. Are we there? So, your students can go and have push as parents something. Are we there? Then the parents click on this, which does this. So, you put there as a new package. Are we there? And you present the very good answer for your students. Now, I will finish this. Now, after this, if you look at the, the calculator which I had in mind here, it has a part for result. Are we there? It also has these words up here. Data first number, data second word. These are known as labels. They're known as what? Labels. So I'm going to go back here. I go and get where there is A, capital A. Are we there? And then I come and I draw the big label down here. That label is where my answers are. Where my answers In case your form is small, you can always increase its size by expanding it. After that, we had a simple lunch. These workshops, we make sure we minimize the cost as much as possible because the teachers are the ones funding. So we had some simple lunch, and the teachers got also an opportunity to do the network and to share. As I said to teachers, it's always good. If we know each other and if we can be able to call each other in the neighborhood and help even the syllabus encourage teachers to let others from outside always come and see what they teach. After that, we had uh, a session, we had our partners, and their message was for teachers to do what they call interactive learning where the students are involved, not just be the one way or just be a role deliver important from one side. So the teachers from your cup, they encourage the teachers to do to teach interactively and also to use ICT, what you call digital pedagogy, in teaching and learning. That's all what we call interactive learning. Students learn better when they are involved. Yes. But if you are here bringing notes, feeding them, they are not active, they are not participating, they will not learn as much as 
when they are involved, when they are using the tools to learn. One last question. How many of us are willing to adapt to certain kind of education? Are we practicing what we are preaching? But trust me, this education is the trend right now. Students are able to see photographs from the projector. Like in a situation where you find that you have many students and you may not need to print every copy to a student. So you display the photos on the projector and then you start answering them. Uh, apart from the photos, we all, I also give them videos like uh, how a waterfall is formed, they see how waterfalls are flowing, and they give them a real picture than seeing what is on the paper. I use IT in displaying most of the materials to the learners, and then they can also make PowerPoint presentations on different topics. She's moving around as uh, she's uh, showing the Malimu tab as it looks. Malimu tab comes with a keyboard, with a keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard, uh, uh, as well as a jacket. So it gives you the laptop feel. Yeah. From that point, we had uh, another session on the innovative tissue where we looked at some stories which are really coming out of Lida. We have been here in the number of stories from Lida. Uh, we had a uh, Mr. Anguda, Emmanuel last year, when we saw him, he featured us for the teacher making a difference in northern Uganda. Currently, he's in the US, but he managed to send a message which we shared with the teachers, where he inspired them and told them how he has benefited by, uh, by using ICT and by encouraging students to ICT projects. Yeah. These projects come, but they stop at prototype level. So I wanted to find a way of scaling them up and actually putting them to market. In May, we were national champions in Asia and they developed a project called WalkTrack. It was a combination of, 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 of robotics and then mobile app programming, something that had never been imagined in Uganda. But little boys of around 15, 16, 17, 18 years managed to program. And uh, to me, when we won that award, it gave me a lot of satisfaction that, yes, we can actually excel nationally if we only focus and build the skills of these young, young students. So uh, that was a, an inspirational session. We also had Madam Alma Betty, who is a teacher here at Dr. Bote College. She also shared with the teacher and gave them uh, ideas on how they can run this project. She gave an example of how Dr. Bote College students have been uh, participating in various competitions and how uh, the, uh, their students actually managed to win different hours, including this computer lab where we have been. All the skills that I could use to bring the students to like in what they were doing, and they behind me and my other college teachers, we mobilized the students to like in using the computer. So we would bring to them the topic and tell them this year one ABCD. Can you design a project out of this? And of this project, can you show me the classroom application you are using to design the project? So we wanted them to appreciate learning geography, learning physics, learning science. Where can you apply it? So in the following year, 2013, we were given a task. Dr. Bote worked very hard. The students worked, they, they brought very many projects because all of them now wanted to want to benefit, having fees, moving out and doing that. Amazingly, that year, we went and won. We came back with 20 flat screen computers. I am happy to inform you that even you have benefited these computers. They are this one. The following year, we went back. We made an automated chicken feeder. We were to manage a farm. And this boys designed a machine where you can manage your farm alone. You can move even up to the USA. You can create the feeds, leave it there. So the feeds are, is given out to the chicks and the, the cows and what at the what program time. 
the program, the machine, it worked very well. The minister of ICT by then was, I don't remember the name, but so excited. And this was being sponsored by Huawei. And that's why you see that logo on our hand. We brought another 20 computers. They are now 40. You can count them. There are 40 this one here. Then you see the added others. There may be more than 40 here. Now, project task came on. Because the students were interested, the teachers were available. We gave them our time. The IC teachers were behind to give the technical bit of it, the programming language that we needed. The students even went for greater tasks. They were asked to design a game field using a robot. This time the robot was to move, collects, it moves at an angle, collects luggage, rings and dumps it at another, then it turns at another angle, then after dumping the luggage it has to climb and hill, it goes and pack. You have been doing programming today, it's not easy to do that. But the students did it. They were able to discover and do it perfectly well. We won. And what did it hand them this time? They had a flight to USA, Washington DC, 2017. They went. They went for International First Global Robotics Challenge, where they went and did very well representing Uganda. In 2017, a much harder task was given, and they were developing all their skills and greater interests. They again won, and last year they were to travel to Mexico. Now, you see, here the students are being inspired, inspired through motivation, inspired through hard work that they were doing, inspired by the teachers being near them, inspired by you know, even the administrator showing concern and supporting them here and there. That is what we had. Lirata Uncle has taken so much with technovation and here they are winning. And that is why Mr. Moda right now is where he is because of the technovation. He got so much interest in that. Now, some of the... Some of the programming hardware, software we have been using was the NXT brick that got updated. Uh, these days, mostly we are using the Arduino, the Arduino that works for students. Uh, Arduino gives a, a simpler programming to the students and they quicker get used to it. And the language is a little bit simple to use. That can be used to design any project of your choice. So some of those are the, the, the software as we've been using. We concluded the session by having a uh, closing ceremony. We have issued our certificates. Our chairperson, Mr. Oba, our chairperson, Mr. Oba, also shared the teacher that you can always come for the workshops, even when they are full of response at the They should always endeavor to come. Get the way for my transport to and back. The moment I always get, when I go to workshops like this, this is mad. It has changed me and it will continue to change me. Likewise to you, please do that. Do that. I would like to say, never get tired. When you're invited for a workshop, I just had the chairman say, with or without money, come. You will always get something to carry home. Even with that empty pocket, you are going to make more than what you have not even got. I know. The teachers have challenges. The head teachers of the schools also say they have challenges, which is true. Some schools at the moment do not have no money to support certain work functions. But if you yourself feel and appreciate and value your personal development, then it will be of benefit that you get up and you come on your own pocket. The payments you're going to get after this, I promise you, is going to be greater than what you have ever thought of. And I want to encourage you to continue in that same spirit. And also to spread the message to other teachers. Let us stop sleeping. Let us wake up. Time has already come. No one is going to ring for us the bell. It is us to ring the bell and respond to the bell. And that means it is us to ring the bell, us responding to the bell, we also make others to respond.
I know you have learned a lot today by sharing together, and I want to echo to the organizers that let this not be the last time you're doing this. We need these workshops, and not only for ICT teachers. If you could make the ICT teachers, the agents in these schools, and they do cascading, I mean training in their schools, as you go supervising them, so that all the teachers are brought on board, this would be doing us a lot. The Yaka was telling us how we can you know, use this to go to class. But I want to say, some of us teachers even don't know how to type on the phone. <laughs> Just the phone. That, that one, the keyboard of the phone, they even don't want to. Some people don't know what is called a touch screen phone. And they don't want to own it. To me, I treat it as ignorance. Some teachers have never logged on to what is called WhatsApp. <laughs> They say that is a social media that promotes pornography. They are not into it. After all, what is it that you keep communicating all day through? Are they thinking rightly? <laughs> we need those social communications. You are in Arua. How do I reach you? You need the notes I have at Dr. Bote College. I need the one you have. How do I get to it? Must I climb the bus and go there? If we are on WhatsApp, we exchange. If we are on the internet, we exchange ideas. So let us get back to our different schools and we change agents to our colleague teachers. Let's open our eyes so that we see us grow to a better Ugandan of tomorrow. I know you're tired, you've been here since morning. Some of us are traveling very far. I want to again say we are very grateful as Dr. Bokipole for you having chosen to have this take place here at Dr. Bote College. Next time I want to say you are most welcome. <laughs> we even have a bigger laboratory yet to be opened. So a, a, a double number here we shall still accommodate chairman. I'm saying next time you come, mm. we shall even provide a bigger hall with many computers. It's and okay. This. Thank so you. we are ready to welcome you back. I wish you all the best, all the gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam, <laughs> for wishing us journey masses and all your contributions. The teacher rises to Nkule Girls Secondary School in Dokola District. I'm so delighted to attend this workshop for the first of its kind ever since I attended the launch of A Level Sub ICT syllabus in Cologne in 2013. So I'm so grateful to be here today. My being here has given me a lot of knowledge that I will never forget. And I pray or I wish it could be organized always such that the ICT teachers are equipped. Why? Because most of us have this knowledge that we learned in the university and sometimes also, okay, some of this information that you give, you've given us today, we did not learn. So it is the first of its kind that we are learning, and I pray that we continue doing it that way for a better Uganda. The workshop was part of my side and I advise other teachers also to go and attend the workshop in our time. And, uh, it's really good. We yeah, are happy about the extension of the service to the region it has benefited us a lot and we like it. And uh, I'm an ICT instructor at Kitgum, Primary Teachers College of Kitgum, and uh, I'm very glad to be a part of uh, ITAO, the ICT Teachers Association of Uganda, and really appreciate the effort of the leaders, the committee, and the partners to make these workshops uh, <coughs> take place. I encourage uh, all ICT teachers out there, please get involved. You can register easily online, and uh, you know the future is great. Uh, ICT is a really, a really short that has come to change uh, us and our learners. And as teachers, we are in a very strategic point. So I encourage us to really get involved. So I thank uh, Itao for this gift people to share the regional workshops. Uh, many times we run to Kampala, and you know it's costly. So I really appreciate uh, you guys for coming out here, and I'm now an ambassador. Uh, so, Itao, best regards and the leadership. Thank you for what you're doing. Okay, I'm by the name of Paul Guy. So, just like the workshop, I was having some challenges in the 
piece of message or okay, let me say programming. So with this workshop, at least we are going to do something to our students. We are going to teach them what we have learned. And the, the message to people who have not made it, please, whenever you hear of this kind of workshop, endeavor to attend because all of the experiences is best when you are there. But when you are told, always it's not all that feeling. So be there yourself. We will welcome you for the next coming town, either regional or another, I mean, or national workshop. So I just have nothing to say. My talent to thank the national coordinator, the chairperson, for also availing themselves here and giving us the motivation as ICT teachers. Everyone who is here is so happy with the day, and we give thanks to all the national coordinator and the chairperson for this day. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, next, we are going to be in India uh, this Friday. So we are going to be part of this and uh, please share other members, come, share and we'll continue together in this.